A big problem in the world today, is the unhealthy relationship most people have with food. This leaves the door wide open for type 2 diabetes. But it doesn't have to be this way. If you want to avoid type 2 diabetes, or if you already have it, and want to control or reverse it, you must understand that like so many other diseases, type 2 diabetes comes down to what you put into your mouth. Unlike type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes is more controllable with diet and exercise. Type 1 is an autoimmune disease, where the pancreas produces little, to no insulin. There's a test that a doctor can order, to measure the amount of insulin that your pancreas is producing. This test is called a C-peptide test. In my 8 years of consulting with physicians, I have advised numerous physicians, to order this test, and why it is important. Based on the results from this test, a doctor will usually start diabetes treatment by choosing drugs, or insulin injections, to increase the amount of insulin in the body. Or a doctor may choose to prescribe drugs, that make the cells of the body more responsive to insulin. A type 1 diabetic, would not be producing enough insulin on their own, and their C-peptide levels would be low. And while diet can play a big role in managing blood sugar, without insulin being produced inside the body, it would be necessary to get it from elsewhere. That's where daily insulin shots or an insulin pump, would come into play. But with type 2 diabetes, it is usually a different story. With type 2, a person's cells are resistant to insulin. Insulin is the hormone that is responsible for reducing your blood sugar, and 90 to 95 percent of the population in the United States with diabetes, has type 2. So this generally means, that a person's cells do not properly respond to insulin, and insulin cannot do its job effectively. But here's the good news, with proper diet and exercise, we can drastically improve this. So the 1000 pound elephant in the room, is insulin resistance. This is usually the first problem in type 2 diabetes, and the cause of high blood sugar, and many other problems. So it is critical, that we reduce insulin resistance, and this is totally doable. Two of the quickest ways to do this, is first by losing weight. And second, by increasing your physical activity. In my over 8 years in the industry, I've learned that type 2 diabetes, isn't really as bad as you may have been told, and is totally controllable, if you do the right things. For the free report, of me breaking down the natural ways to control type 2 diabetes with diet, what really works, and why most natural diabetes diets fail, visit my website, diabetesdietcures.net, now.